Hello YouTube, this is Detroit Borg, and there is something I want to bring to your attention. Now if you know about the camera connection kit, you know that it does more than just connect your camera to your iPad. You can connect USB microphones, USB keyboards, and other things like instruments. However, certain changes in iOS 4.2 have made this far less usable. And in this video, we're going to talk about them. Now this was brought to my attention uh, from other YouTube followers. Uh, some people have asked what's going on. I can't get my keyboard to work anymore. I saw your video on the camera connection kit and this device doesn't work like you said it would. Uh, so I investigated this and got some information from some other fellow YouTubers and found out that iOS 4.2 has reduced the amount of power coming out of the iPad from 100 milliamps to 20 milliamps. So that means unpowered USB devices such as USB thumb drives, USB microphones like this Blue Yeti, and USB keyboards no longer work with the camera connection kit. Now this isn't necessarily universally true. I have a bunch of USB drives here. Neither of these worked. I'm going to show you what happens. They used to work uh, before iOS 4.2, but this one does. So we're going to show you what happens there. This USB keyboard used to work. It no longer does. And I'll post a link in the description below so you can see the original video. Um, I guess from, from what I'm hearing from followers on Twitter that their USB keyboard still works so if you have a USB keyboard that uses less than 20 milliamps you should be okay but uh, you know good luck trying to figure out which ones do and unfortunately uh, my blue Yeti USB microphone no longer works with this so let's go ahead and run through the tests so again I'm just using the USB adapter and here we have a sand disk again this used to work in fact I have a video on this as well Let's connect it. And now we're getting cannot use device. The connected USB device requires too much power. So that means nothing will happen. I have photos loaded on here uh, in a folder labeled DCIM, which is what you need to do in order for the iPad to recognize the photos. And indeed nothing happens. I see that it's lit. Um, so it appears to be drawing some power, but it's uh, not enough to make it work. So let's pull that out. Let's try another USB thumb drive again requires too much power now this one does work this is a Lexar it's very old and it automatically loads the photo gallery app and I can see two photos I've loaded on here which happen to be screen captures from an iPod touch so I can import these if I want there you go. So it looks like some thumb drives will work, but I couldn't tell you which ones do. Now let's try the Blue Yeti USB microphone. Again, it's just a USB connected microphone, and I'm going to connect it to the iPad. And again, it says the connected USB device requires too much power. So we're going to ignore that and attempt to use it anyway. So let's bring up the audio recording app I have on here, Audio Memos. Now to test to see which microphone it uses, the connected one or the internal one, let's do a recording. And it's recording right now, you can see my voice. And if I tap the microphone, you can see that's where it's recording. Now if I tap the Blue Yeti, nothing's there. Now let's try the keyboard. I'm just going to disconnect the Yeti. Okay, so I connect the keyboard, but nothing happens. I see no prompt. I see nothing happening. Usually that's a good sign. It means whatever is connected is okay. Um, but we're going to attempt to see what happens by going to Notes. And we're going to write a message so you can see the virtual keyboard pops up which is not a good sign and now, now let's try typing something on the keyboard so you can see nothing is happening not getting any pop-ups no errors 
nothing at all. So unfortunately, at least with this Apple keyboard, it no longer works with the iPad. So there we have it, guys. It looks like the USB uh, camera connection kit adapter is really only to be used for power devices. So cameras or video cameras uh, will work just fine because they have their own internal power supply. However, everything else is up in the air, so I wouldn't buy this uh, for anything beyond its uh, intended goal or intended purpose, which is to connect a camera. So once again, guys, this is Detroit Borg with a quick demo of iOS 4.2 and the camera connection kit. Thanks for watching.